Now, this thing here is called a Leyden jar. Invented 1744, a, a remarkably long time ago, by a chap called Peter van Busenbroek, who lived uh, in Leiden in Holland. And so it took the generic name of a Leyden jar. It was also simultaneously invented by Erwin von Kleist in Germany. And what it did was gave experimenters the ability to actually store up the charge. We generate a spark, but it's such a transient thing, it's gone. Before we can do anything with it, it's away. So a Leyden jar was very, very useful to early experimenters because it enabled them to hold on to a charge and move it about. It was a portable source of, of, of electricity and to do other experiments with. Very, very simple. It's a conductor on the outside, a conductor on the inside with an insulator in between. So it's a glass tube, foil on the outside, foil on the inside. What happens is the, the two poles get charged opposite polarities and so we have to have a decent separation there because otherwise the spark could possibly jump from one to another. There's a small ball of pith on the end there. Its function is to tell me or anybody else that's interested that there's actually a charge on there. We cannot see the electricity. Uh, so this little ball tells us that it's charged. The reason it stands on end like that, of course, is because like charges repel each other. So, put a little charge on there, and I'll pick it up very carefully. I say carefully because the length of that spark indicated that there was quite a few thousand volts on there. And that, under ideal conditions, would hold that charge for a very long time. 